Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to be reacting to the Australian entry to Eurovision 2021. I will be completely honest with you guys. Last year Australia was one of my last places. It was somewhere in my bottom three, I think. I know that a lot of people really connected to that song. Somehow I couldn't because I did not really enjoy the live performance. I thought the vocals were kind of weak. But this is a new year. I almost had a new age. There's not a new age. So my expectations are different. Also, I know the name of the song, which is Technicolor, which makes me think of Kama Kama Chameleon. But well, actually it was Kama Camellia in that one. Because of that song title, I have a feeling that this is not gonna be as dramatic as Don't Break Me. But also, I don't really know where to place it. So, I also don't know her that much. I haven't listened to any of her music, so I don't know what, what style of music to expect. I would just say that based on the song title, I don't think it's gonna be slow, but I have no clue. It could be anything from metal all the way to country music, I have no idea. This is also the first time I'm listening to the song. And I have to tell you that right now, I did not find an official music video yet. So this reaction is also from a live performance from what I've seen is somewhere outdoors. So apparently this is a live version from Mardi Gras in Australia. It looks like there was a sporting event, I'm guessing rugby. I do see already a pink triangle and I think I see her on stage, so maybe that will be also the, the actual live staging, I don't know. Let's listen to Technicolor, I literally have no idea what to expect. Okay, the smoke starts. Bring the fog. Okay, we're going for looks this year too. She's... <laughs> okay, I think she's trying to do a little bit of four non-blondes kind of vocals. I don't think they're working that well. I don't know what to say right now. I still think that the voice does not sound well. I do feel though that I would like the song more than Don't Break Me. This sounds really mean probably, but I just feel that the problem for me are not the songs per se, but the artist. She sounds weak vocally. We got style and lasers. Okay. Like this part, I think I would like it. And I also understand what she's trying to do vocally. It just really does not work. If you guys are from Australia and you maybe know her, have you ever been to like a live concert of her? Or is she like a new artist? I think she's trying to do too much. I mean, we can do whatever, but not really whatever. Let's call it eclectic. 
Oh, I feel like I'm going to be so mean on this one, but I honestly did not like it. I would say I don't think the song is annoying as some other songs that were already released for Eurovision, but I honestly cannot connect to it because she's not giving it. And I like her looks. She definitely looks like a star. She looks like she's supposed to be on stage, which is actually what makes me feel really bad because obviously she's very much into it and I really think she's very artsy. I really really did not like the sound of it. And let's say that Don't Break Me did not even show as much off as this one did because I feel like Don't Break Me kind of had moments where she was fine. But what she's trying to do here, it just doesn't work for me. I am actually quite curious to know if for other people this works. But I heard before voices like hers that are trying to do what she's doing and this sounds off. Like sometimes she hits it, sometimes she doesn't. It's just a guessing game. I will say that right now it will go pretty low in my top. I'm not sure if it's quite the last place, but it will be quite low. I really hope I will listen to like a studio version and somewhat change my mind at least about the song. Because I did hear some stuff in the music that I thought I would actually really like that. I mean this was also outdoors, probably in the wind. The sound quality probably not the best. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Please stay safe and I'll see you in a future video. Bye.